Hi, and let's view Human Resources Management System by Variance Infotech built on Suit CRM. It's a complete HRMS suit ready to implement and to extend your existing Suit CRM's capabilities. Just like sales and marketing automation, a successful company should also implement a full functional HR automation system in place of just a basic HR information system. With HRMS for Suit CRM, you won't require to build or buy another system and then integrate it with your CRM to combine the existing data. This saves time and costs. Our HRMS suit covers most features that's required for HR automation and it's pretty much suitable for small to medium companies and even large corporates who wishes to manage the centralized HR activities from single system for their branches and different business units. So let's see what's in it for you. On the dashboard, you'll see the overview of your all HR activities, like today's activities, uh, scheduled interviews, appraisals, birthdays, or leave applications, and then the core HR uh, module details like uh, opening positions, scheduled interviews of course, the candidates which are selected or even the leave status if background check status is, holidays and even the settings which is related to human resources. Your to start using you can start with business units. You can add your different business units. It can be your different branches even or even the different uh, manufacturing units and your office which you can add just we have shown over here this is just the data uh, to show you and once you created the business units you can add different departments that is associated with different business units like financing purchase manufacturing transport acquisition and even HR of course so these each departments can be assigned to a particular user and can be associated with a particular business unit. Once you set your business units and departments, you can move on to the core HR activities. Let's review them one by one, uh, starting with opening positions. Different departments or department heads will send a requisition for different positions that they require in the team in the department uh, with a position and the the status will be by default as uh, initiated and it is raised by whom and it is assigned to whom in HR team. Uh, let's see a bit in detail. You can capture all the details like uh, the job description, uh, what skills are required, what is the minimum qualification that's required, what are the experience range and what's the priority and, and for which location uh, are all other relevant details. You can even add more fields if required. We can do that for you. Once uh, the opening positions are received, approved and in process, the HR team can then again start with uh, finding the candidates through different channels. Once this candidates uh, get in touch with the HR department, the de department people, they receive their resumes, they will capture all these details in the candidates module. So of course the candidate title and for what's the status, uh, from which channel, which source they have uh, got in touch with the company. So you can even uh, analyze which channel works best for you. And let's see in detail. So once you receive these uh, candidate details, you can schedule the interviews. So interview module will take care of the interview scheduling and the different rounds of interview, the status, whether it's scheduled or in process or the candidate has been selected and interview type, whether it was a video conference interview or even a telephonic interview or it was in person and the interviews commented, comments like um, it has a good communication scale or whatever they have observed and the one who has interviewed the candidate and then 
that particular interview details is assigned to uh, someone in HR department. Once the interview procedure is over and the candidate is selected, there are steps to follow like background checks and then converting the candidate into the employee. Uh, you can capture the details about the background checks, their status, uh, whether it's in process or it's a completed, it is successful or not successful as per the norms of the company. And then once the background check is completed, it will be uh, forwarded for the uh, concerned person in HR department uh, for the next step. The next step will be to converting that candidate into an employee. So you capture all the details of um, a candidate, a successful candidate who has passed the interview and the background check is uh, successfully completed, you can convert that into the employee. So here will be the list of your existing employee and even the new ones. Once the employee is uh, added, you can even add more details about the employee's family. This is really helpful when you uh, as a company, if you're offering certain benefits to your employees like a family insurance or something related to uh, family welfare of an employee. We also have appraisals module to manage appraisals that can be quarterly, half yearly or yearly. You can manage the details about uh, the appraisal, their status. Uh, for the which period the appraisal is and it is for which candidate from which business unit or department and it's assigned to whom to complete the appraisal. Also, you may have a set that's assigned to or given to uh, different employees uh, for use like computers or different furniture. So you can create uh, asset categories first like electronic software, hardware, furniture, and then you can add the assets under these different asset categories and then assign to a employee. So you can send a consolidated report as and when required to the concerned department who's uh, managing the company's assets uh, for the accounting purpose, for taxation purpose, or even for the audit purposes. Also, if the employees, they incur certain expenses on behalf of the company or especially in case of uh, sales and marketing team who travel frequently and they have to give the expense statements, um, you can categorize different expense statements uh, like a hotel expense, traveling expense and uh, what it was spent for. So we, you can also have uh, different categories for it was spent for a project or for the client meeting or a presentation and the amount. So we have included these uh, minor uh, features, uh, modules in the, to complete the most of the HR management requirements. One of the most important feature for HR is leave management. In our HRMS, all you need to do is configure the leave from leave configuration. You can add the number of sick leaves that's allowed or and uh, casual leaves, total number of leaves that's allocated for uh, each employee. So you can even create a multiple leave configurations if the number of leaves that's uh, assigned or allocated or allowed for different employees based on their uh, status in the corporate hierarchy. So when a candidate is applying for a leave, he just have to select the leave type from the existing list and fill up all the details like reason for leave or the leave status where it is applied or on hold or is accepted or not. And it will show in the leave, um, leave module uh, like a list, uh, as you can see here, the leave applicant and the reporting manager and leave for, leave type, and what is the status of the leave. Also, uh, it's important to include the holidays. So HR manager can also add the approved list of holidays in the system over here in the holidays module. It's also important for HR personnel to keep a flawless communication with uh, all of the employees. Tickets is one of the most important 
uh, BOTU that helps uh, any employee to raise a ticket in case of any uh, issue. Uh, maybe it's personal or official, they can communicate with their HR. Uh, for example, if uh, any company asset which they are using has uh, got certain issues and it's to be resolved, uh, they can uh, assign it to someone in HR and they can look into the matter or even if they have certain personal issue with any of the other employee or if it's related to appraisal there are there are many possibilities so that all can be managed using a tickets module also one of the most important feature which we've added is a policy and the announcements uh, as and when uh, the corporate policy related to the employees are added or edited, all the employees with access to this module can view this and uh, they can get in touch with HR if they have any issues or in acceptance of any of the part or even they can stay updated. Also, the announcement, if there are an, uh, diff uh, important announcements that's made uh, for uh, uh, all the employees in the company it can be sent by email using workflows to all the employees at once or it can be notified by email so they can check using this module uh, the importance announcements there are many more features in uh, HRMS suit offered by Valence Infotech which you can see over here as a whole list uh, get in touch with us uh, for your custom requirement because all you could see over here right now in this video can be customized, can be modified to suit your organizational requirements. Thanks for watching.